Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a like a jack a smackin'? It's Wolfman for video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a complete look in NBA 2K14 next gen. So when you start off, you have the five options right there, as you saw before. Right here, you go edit your player. The first thing you know, the game makes you do is to pick a player, edit it, and that becomes your my career player, and also the player your my player. So right here, you know, you got exit, a quick game. You could just go to the quick game and it brings you up, you know, quick game. It's, it's regular. It has all the rosters from NBA 2K14 current gem. It has all the European teams. But like the current gen version, it also does have the USA teams and the dream team. So right here, there's a black top, you know, regular black top, regular practice, options mode. You know, regular options, it just looks a little bit different. Portal length, game style, everything has been there before. The rosters have been kind of different, they changed it. Right here, you have the regular showing of the rosters with their ratings, their positions. And their faces actually look pretty good. I think that those are real images, and, you know, they're better than the current gen images. So if you wanted to, you could also show all their ratings and stuff like that as well. There's also a roster creator, character creator, you know. Now here's a new thing. NBA Today. This shows all the scores from the previous day and the current day's games. And it also has highlights from NBA Game Time. So this is a cool feature. And also if you go to NBA Today, in NBA Today, you get a whole showing of the, the United States of America along with Canada a little bit. And you can actually play the games and see what games are playing. So online, there's play with your friends, quick match, and quick match team up. There's no my career blacktop in the online games. The online leagues are back, but yeah, there's no online association draft, and it's not like the online associations before. It's a little bit different, and I'm just have to say I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in that mode. But here's my team. Get to choose your team. Make a nickname, make an abbreviation, and it asks for the city. So you make your city, you get your starting cards, you know, same bummy cards that's it's always win. It's always been with starting cards, based my Biombo, you know, all this stuff. But this time you could you could have duplicate cards and item cards are in a separate location. Now you can collect cards in a collection, and there's also a historic collection. If you collect all the cards in the collection, you get a reward. And there's a collection for every team, so I guess that's basically getting all the main players of the team. You can manage your team, the franchise, you'll have a default lineup, and you can also create other lineups that you like to use. So this is what I really like about this thing, is that it's easier, it's more organized of how you pick your, your you know, your home jersey, your away jersey, your arena. And here's a, a mode called Domination. There's tournaments, play with your friends. Servers are done, however. There are three packs right now. Cost a lot of money though. Well, not that much. 3,000 VC for runs. It's the market again, but I don't I don't think you could um I don't think you could trade players yet. Nah, NBA 2K14 micro injection still has no trading players. And there's a new domination mode where you could face a lot of teams and get rewards. So that's my team right there and also what's new is my gm so my gm is basically the online association but this time you control every single aspect of the franchise of the knicks so right here you could have all the options the season length progressive fatigue injuries and look right there there's fantasy draft right there so how could they have fantasy draft offline but not bring fantasy draft online that just got me so upset, man. But right here, you can choose your profile, and depending on which profile you choose, you'll have certain discounts on what you buy in that category. So let's say if you're a broker, you get discounts on trade negotiation upgrades and psychologist discount intelligence upgrades, stuff like that. So when you enter the mode, then you can pick a team, and you choose your team, and you control all aspects of that team, the coaches, the money basically you know you're the general manager that's what my gm is it's 
you're being the general manager and it has some type of role playing features in it like right here you can see I'm talking with the owner I think and you know you set goals for yourself you set how the team is gonna be you tell the owner what you're gonna do if you're gonna make the playoffs or right or not if you want to make the playoffs or if you're gonna say like if you're gonna make the playoffs definitely so here's a schedule right there it's my GM front office business Let's take a look at business that's locked but you could set the prices of the games level one seating team finances pricing graphs you know a lot of this jersey sales player financing the owner right there this is what the owner wants or oh, this is what I told the owner and you know you have all this coaching stuff which I can control you can set a scrimmage freestyle practice a lot of stuff in this thing and then you're purchasing VC again so yeah my GM I think it's a pretty decent mode it's a, it's a good mode it looks like a good mode maybe if they would have included it online that would have been as fun as hell too but you know it's a good first step so now we have my career and my career is definitely a new mode in next gen as soon as you start the, the my career up it brings you this screen and this is what happens between games you're either on the airplane or you're um in the in your car driving to the arena so here's here it is right here the new um attribute update screen and i like this screen a lot it's a lot it's a lot cleaner a lot better i think and you could do a lot man there's uh signature skills again personality badges which are locked right now for me but you get the gist there's a lot of stuff in my career actually too much to do in one video so here right here you can pick your jump shots you can pick your dunks you can pick your park jump shots and the park is basically where you could do blacktop and it's the only place where you could do blacktop they've, they've like i said before they removed blacktop from the online screen and finally in nba 2k14 micro you can actually look at the other team's rosters finally that's been a huge feature to me because if i want to get traded and for some reason i don't know how to get traded yet or if, i don't even know if i could get traded but yeah if you want to get traded and you want to look at the roster of the team you picked so anyways you two Here's the menu and I'm out. Peace.